my friends, how you doing today? I am doing, I, I'm, listen, I'm alive and I'm well and I'm happy to say that I, I, I'm up early. This is an early morning video. I figured I wanted you guys to get me at the, at the, at the peak of my, my insanity, okay? Yes, I, I am, I am fully unmedicated and if I, and even if I would have took my medication, it wouldn't have kicked in yet anyway, okay? This is, this is how early this is, but I got a pack and this is fan mail. That's, that's what I'm gonna call it. Fan, somebody, somebody cared enough to send me a package. This is this is only only the second person has done this. Second person has done this, and I tell you, I majorly appreciate anything. I appreciate I appreciate everything and anything. Now listen, 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 listen. Recently, I've had some some major life changing experiences. It, it, you know what? what it, you know the saying: when it rains, it falls. Well, hey. Stuff been falling all over me, okay? So, it, 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 and I, I, it ain't rain, okay? It ain't, it ain't rain falling all over me. I, I think it's poop, okay? A lot of poop be falling on top of me. There's a lot of stuff falling from the sky, and not, nothing been good. Not, it's all, all been a big old mess, okay? And I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I've been, try, I've been trying. I've been sitting here, and I'm like, I'm like, listen, I, I, I believe I'm a good person. I believe I'm doing the right thing, but 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 things just be going wrong. <laughs> things just be going wrong, left and right and right and left. And 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 I'm I've been told this is this is the thing. Listen, I'm, I don't want to get all biblical and crazy on you guys. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, I'm chaining this guy's off now. Now all of a sudden he's all he's all speaking Bible talk. No, I'm not, I'm not speaking Bible talk, but I do believe that that everybody's life has a plan. There's a plan for everybody's life. You got up this morning, you went to work, you went to go do whatever you're doing, you're not happy. That's not the plan. Okay, that's it's, 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 you got up this morning and you had to go someplace and you were absolutely miserable and you hated your wife, you hated your kids, you hated everything that was going on in your life. You're, you're probably in the wrong place. You probably need to go move on and go do something else. That's probably not the plan because I, I think you, I think we're made to be happy. I don't think I don't think my entire life should be should should be or should have been a struggle. You know what I mean? I think as we're growing up, as we're children, we we go through things with our families and and the struggles make us stronger. That's that's what I believe. I, I strongly believe in that because it builds character okay okay when you're when you're little you don't know what's going on Wait, listen they, i i tell my, my i tell my daughter like this i tell my, my daughter my daughter just had a daughter okay my daughter just had a daughter now the first now i'm gonna tell you i ha, i have three daughters and one son okay and i was i was fine with the one daughter okay and then the second daughter i, I was like okay i'm, I'm good Th third daughter still on board and then my wife's like well we, we gotta have something different i'm like let's go buy a puppy and she's like no 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 you're, 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 you're not understanding yeah I, I want me a son i want to get me a, i want to get me a son i'm like well where do we get one of them you know how, how, how do you how do you make that choice now she now now i know that there's no no different uh uh ways of doing this okay it's 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 like a, a roll of the dice it's like a roll of the dice on what you're going to end up getting when when you be trying to have a baby okay so she's like i, I want to have me a son so we so we Number four, here, here comes the sign. I'm like, we're done. That's it. I, I, sign me up to where, listen, you've been through so much pain, hon. You've been through so much pain. You, you've had these babies. I've been in there with you. I held your hand. I cut cords. I was there. I didn't pass out. I was, I was very strong, very, very excited. I'm like, wait, wait, you're in labor. Let's go. And I'm there. And you had these babies. Now, now, listen, sign me up to wherever I need to go to go get myself snipped so I, so, so this don't happen no more because, listen, we had the, we had the girls. We had boy. And, and we can't have nothing else, okay? Nothing else could come possibly out of there besides the, uh, the, the boy or the girl, okay? So, so we're done. We did good. They're, they're healthy. They're good. We did good. Cut me off. I'm all set. I, I'm doing it for you. I'm do, I'm 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 going to keep you from the pain and and, and I'm going to go get me some surgery. I'm going to get myself straightened out so we don't have to worry about us having no more children cuz you know I'm done. I'm done. done. <laughs> because cuz cuz she went she went to work and I went to work. I worked that night and she worked during the day and and I I was tired. I was tired and I was taking care of these children. And now my children got children, and and now my children be going all different kinds of directions. Now my child that just had a child, I tell my child all the time, to listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You look at that little girl every day. You look at her, and you look at her with love, right? Right? You look at her, and she's so cute, <laughs> little babies. I'll tell you right now, they so cute and cuddly, and and, 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 and and listen, 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 nothing, nothing funnier and cuter than baby when the baby don't have that head control, you know, when they don't have the head control yet, and they're like, and they're, they're trying, they're trying to get the head control, and you're looking at your child, and you're like, what's up? baby, so cute, listen, there's a reason why God make them that way, okay, because when they get older, they're crazy, okay, they drive you absolutely nuts, okay, I'll tell you right now, 
know why time travel has not been figured out yet? Because I would I would grab Doc Brown's DeLorean, go back in time, and start smacking my kids in the head. I, listen, I, I, listen, I'm not now. I'm not saying to be abusive to your children. But I'm just telling you that my children never never got abused. They they, they, were, they weren't abused. They were treated treated like gold. I loved my children. Took good care of my children. But I, but maybe now that I think about it, now that I think about it, I may have have not given them. I I shouldn't have. Giving them the occasional diaper change, okay? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have given them the the occasional toy or the occasional something. They should have got the occasional. Hey, get into your room and stay in your room and don't go nowhere. Because now, now the 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 slaps that they should have got, I be getting them from them. I, I'm getting. I'm getting the the slap downs now. I'm getting. I'm getting the beatings from 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 the children. That's that's what's going on with me. So I tell my I tell my daughter, listen, love her, take care of her, take care of her. But listen, listen, learn. Learn from your father. Learn from the things that I made mistakes. Listen, you, you treat your kids like gold, okay? And you, and you raise them, and, and you try to do the right thing because, especially from a guy like me. Listen, listen. Now, now this Mister Mister uh, guy that sent me the package today, who does not want to be named, just wants to be named as a a viewer and a subscriber and somebody that really enjoys his channel. Uh, this one, this is a special little rant just for you because I be going through some messed up stuff and I'm trying to figure out some things, but uh, um. I tell my 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 daughter. I tell I tell like you know. Listen, I'm like you take care of that baby, but listen, you you make sure that you stay s stern. Okay, I I made me some mistakes. You make mistakes so you can teach your kids not to make the same mistakes. Okay, I went through the stuff with my father and my mother, so that way I could teach my kids not to do that. But you know, sometimes they don't take it. They they don't take it. They don't understand it. And I, I'm gonna tell you something else. There's some there's some there's some children. There's some people in this world that are looking. For you to mess up, they are they are looking for you to make a mistake in your in your parenting skills so that they can nail you. <laughs> That's what it is. They can nail. Now listen to me. Just recently, just recently, okay. My my, I had I have a daughter. I go. I got one of my daughters married and she gone. Okay, she gone. She got married. She got kid. She she living. She gone. Okay. Well, what's cool is that she 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 left. Okay, and 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 we fought. We fought a lot before she left. Now this was my baby girl. This was my first baby girl. And some guy, some guy with a with a with the with the with the the the. the the facial hair and man came 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 a knocking and he took my baby girl away. Now, now listen, granted, now that that that's that's tough for me. That's that that was a that's a difficult thing for a father to give away their firstborn child. Okay, it's not like I was giving away like uh, uh actually I can't compare it to like a Blu-ray or a toy or something like that because I've had a hard time with that too. But um, you know, like somebody asked me to borrow ten dollars, I'm like, okay, here, here's ten dollars, and I ain't and I ain't too worried about you paying me back my ten dollars. Okay, but when you come by and you say you want to take a daughter. We got, I might have a little bit of problem with that. I might have you, your, your your tactics or your the way you you uh, address me when you're trying to do something like this. Maybe maybe a um, it might be you might want to want to handle this with kid like gloves. Okay, let's let's just say that. Let's just say that you you might want to come over here and you might want to be a little bit nicer to me. Do do a little little butt kissing. I don't mind a little butt kissing. I got a little butt. Okay, I know you can't see from the weight down, but for some reason, okay, uh, my my wife says, listen, you 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 have no butt. I don't know what your problem is. Maybe it's because I spent a lot of a lot of years driving a forklift and maybe sitting on it, uh, it flattened it out. Something something gone wrong. But but I I don't mind though. You, you could have came over. You could have could have wine me, dined me, made me feel good or whatever. They then said you were gonna steal my daughter. But, but you know we had we had some words. We get along fine now. Gave me a beautiful granddaughter. I love her very much. But that's that's why the baby's so cute. She's so cute because I tell you they they scream and cry. Like every four hours on and four hours off, screaming and crying. Yeah, you don't know what they want half the time. They can't tell you. What do you What do you want? You, so listen, there are some days when you're looking at your baby. You're looking at your baby when the babies, and you're like, "What do you want? I don't know what you want. I can't make you happy. I don't know what to tell you." And you know what the funny thing is? is it doesn't get better as I get older. Now, if you if you are new viewers to this channel, I'm I'm here to educate you. I'm educating you on what uh, what my the parenting thing is. As they get older, you still don't know what they want. They they be speaking in code and stuff, and you and you need to be like some kind of mind reading uh, psychic to figure out what what's what's going on. So just so 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 to to, to make this, I, I'm all over the place today. This this is this is what happens when you wake up late, and this is what happens when you when the medication ain't ain't, ain't sitting in properly. So uh, recently, my 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 daughter, she 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 comes home and she's she, well, she first first she 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 has new friends she, she meets some new friends i love when new friends just pop up and and they try to tell you that they, they've been around all this time you're like you're like wait a minute 
I don't remember you. I don't remember you. I, if you put if you put my my kids' friends in a police lineup, I couldn't identify probably not a one of them. Not a one of them. Even even the the guy that that she just recently introduced me to. If you put him in a police lineup, I probably could not introduce you to him. Gonna know why? Because I because I because it's insignificant in my life. It's it's not important to me to rememorize your friends because you have new so many new friends. Listen, I had friends when I was in high school, and I tell my kids all the time, like, listen, listen. Your dad, he had friends when he was in high school. They were good friends, nice friends, happy friends. Where are they now? I don't know. Where are they now? I don't care. Listen, listen, I, listen. If you were my friend in high school, I love you. I appreciate you. You were there for a purpose in my life, probably to hear me vent about how terrible my life was, probably to, to deal with the, the situations that I was going on. I was probably giving you a ride too. So, hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Uh, Mr. I feel I feel like that. Uh, Mr. Freeload Man. No, those Bud Light commercials. Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. So whatever it is. Yeah, I, I had one friend in particular that he didn't have no license. He didn't have no car. And all the time he'd be like, he, he always had sad stories. Always a sad story. Like, hey, I go, how you doing? You know, uh, what, what are you doing today? I'm like, I'm going to the beach. We're going to the beach. I'm going to pick up a couple of guys. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to lay on the beach. We're going to go check out the girls. That's what we're going to do today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'm not doing anything today. I'm like, well, that's 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 sad. That's sad that you had nothing to do today. Uh, yeah, I just figured I'd uh, just kick around the house and just relax and whatever. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go downstairs in my, my dad's gym and I'll work out a little bit. I'm like, well, yeah, that sounds like you got a whole plan for the whole day. And where, where, you, where you going? You going to the beach? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to the beach. I got like three guys, whoever. I got a five passenger car. I got three guys. I'm number four. And, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you so you got an empty space for me? Oh, okay. So you want to come with me? Okay, Mr. Friend. Okay, my friend. Come, I'll pick you up. We will go. You'll be passenger number five. We will go to the beach together. Now, this was a friend that never had no money. He never had no money, but he had a sad story. Listen, this, this guy, this guy lived in a beautiful house. Had so had parents that I wish I had, but he was he was he was abused. He was he was terribly abused because he was just spoiled brat. <laughs> That's what the problem was. He was a spoiled brat, and he 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 formulated this abuse in his head so that way he could make everybody feel bad for him. Okay, this is if you had one of these friends, if you had any friends, you could comment below if you had one of these friends. So I go over the house, and, and and matter of fact, not only were his parents like these like uh, like, like the Bradys, okay. Um, I used to work in the place where they used to work. So they, so I, I was a cashier at like it was like a um um like a restaurant of sorts or whatever inside of a mill. So I worked I worked at the cafeteria. That's where I worked. It wasn't a restaurant, a cafeteria. Uh, whoa! I worked at the cafeteria, and they both worked there. These people were peaches. I mean, I'm telling you right now. They listen. They they didn't work in the same department. He was he's, he was a mechanic. The other guy, the, the 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 mother, she worked in the in the mill doing something, piecing together. They, they used to make surgical supplies for for the, for the for the hospitals, and they would walk in together at lunch, holding hands. These people were in love. They were good parents. I'm telling you, I would I would go over to visit him just to see what it what it looked like to be happy, <laughs> just to see what it looked like not to get yelled at all day, just to see what. It, and this kid. This kid, he he was just a wackadoo, okay? He, he was a good friend of mine because he was funny. He was funny, but he was wacky. He's, he was burning black candles, and I, I, th I think he was worshiping Satan. He put on Ozzy Osbourne, and he'd be like, yeah, uh, Satan be running all through me today. And I, listen, the problem was not with your parents. <laughs> the problem was with you because your parents was telling you, listen, you're 17, 18 years old, go get a job, and he wouldn't go get a job, okay? And his parents, parents had a problem with him because he wasn't doing nothing. He's just sitting in his room. Room, talk about how gloomy and terrible everything is and how terrible life is. Meanwhile, he wouldn't get up and go try to do anything. But but we going to the beach. Can I be passenger number five? Okay, sure. I'll, I'll pick you up because, listen, because you're funny, because you do cool impressions of Axl Rose uh, dancing. Okay, he did, he did these awesome Axl Rose dancing impressions. And, um, and I used to think this guy was hilarious, whatever. And he was a good friend of mine, good friend. But, man, his parents, they, they seem like the nicest people I've ever met in my life. But I go pick this guy up, and, and and we go, and all of us in the beach, we go, we pull up to the beach thing. Now, now listen, I don't know about, I don't know where you live, I don't know what, what town you live, what country you live, what place you live, whoever's whoever's watching this, you gotta pay to get into the beach over in, in my world over here. You gotta pay to get into the beach. You gotta pay for food, okay? Food is not free. This isn't back in Little House on the Prairie days. I'm not outside slaughtering my 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 lunches, okay, and getting them prepared for the afternoon. The only thing I get free around here is is the eggs from the chickens, and I think I still gotta feed them. So technically, they ain't free either. I gotta feed them so don't order for them to provide some stuff for me but 
But I pick up this guy and we go to the beach and all, all my friends, they open up their wallets. Wallets open up and they're chipping in to get into the beach. I want to say it was like maybe $20 to get to this beach. This is a nice beach. Okay, there, there was there was a cheap man's beach which you go in and it was free and and you probably go in there and you get leeches uh like like from like Stand by Me and then there was the nice beach the nice beach that was like all like beautiful sand and beautiful water whatever now I am not a beach guy now I hate the beach I can't swim but but back in the day when you be hunting for girls the best place you gotta go to is the beach that's where that's where a bunch of dudes while well, they want all gonna get in a car you go to the beach you sit down the beach with your little swim trunks on and everything and you're just staring. Be staring. I'm staring. Pro probably back in the day, we didn't have the phones. We didn't have the technology. But I'm sure nowadays, with the phone, the technology, people be laying in a videotaping and taking pictures. Already. They were like, listen, I I'm getting my full $20 worth from this beach experience. But no, back in the day, no, that that's not how it was. We opened up our wallets. Okay, we opened up our wallets. And then I look over at my friend. And I knew it. I knew. I knew what was going to this, this was This was going to was, was happen. He's going to be like, I ain't got no money. And got, you want know why you got no money? Because everybody in this car got a job but you. Everybody in this car be working except for you. And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of light today. You're kind of light every day. You don't, you're so light, you're floating. You're like a balloon, okay, full of helium, okay? You'd be floating around, just floating through life, just having people hand out stuff to you, and, and we'd, be, we'd be providing it for you because you're a funny guy. You're a funny guy, and we enjoy your company. Okay, let's pay for this guy. So we, we would go to the beach, and we'd take this guy to the beach. So so this was remembrance of of my, my, my daughter's friends, okay? So all of a sudden, these friends pop up, and and I know that there's some of them are fly by night friends. Okay, you some some people would just, you have some you have some friends you met in high school, and you were friendly with them in high school, and then once you walked across that stage, they done disappeared. They, they disappeared. I don't know. It was, it was magic. It was like it was like Chris Angel and David Copperfield got together, and they were like poof. See you later. They're gone. You ain't never gonna see them again. And th and this is a very much true thing that happens with people. And I'm sure that you guys have had friends that you had growing up that just disappear. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, life is weird over here at the old Melton House. Okay, we're going to have a little issue here. I I take my leap of faith. I leave my job of uh taking care of children for approximately ten years between uh, catechism, CCD, Sunday school, preschool, and teaching preschool for almost ten years. Okay, I I decide that something something's not feeling right. Something's not feeling right, and I take my leap of faith. And I'm like I'm like listen, I'm not feeling right here. I don't feel like I can produce anything anymore. I don't feel like I have anything more to offer. I, I, when I, when I feel like I don't have anything more to offer somebody like i don't feel like i'm doing my absolute all or somebody's keeping me from doing my absolute all it's time for you to move on it's if you if you don't i say this all the time okay if you don't get up every single morning and go to do something that you absolutely love and enjoy and would want to do it for free then it's a problem okay I, I, to me at person that's that's the way i live my life and that's how i'm going to end my life okay I'm not saying end my life end my life but i mean i got what, what's the you the, the the normal human age to live to, right? Like 75, 80 or whatever it is like that. I mean, what do I got? Another like 20 something more years? Those 20, 30 years. Listen, those years are going to go by fast. Okay. Do I want to spend the, the next 30 years of my life struggling and, and waking up every morning and throwing up and, and having diarrhea and, and being like, oh, I can't believe I'm going back to this place again. Oh, who am I going to have to deal with today? No, no, no. So I decided I was going to make that leap of faith or whatever. And, I, and I'm trying to make some decisions in my life. Okay, but my 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 kids, I, I, on top of all the problems I'm I'm having normally, they 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 all start turning people. They, so, some for the better, some for the worse, and I'm like, and I'm conf I'm having a conundrum, a conundrum. That's the word I want. I'm, the word for today, boys and girls, conundrum. Okay, I can't spell it, so I just googled it and I and I put the writing down here, conundrum, because I I I'm messed up. I don't know what the heck is going on with my family right now, but they all be going in different directions, and I understand that they be like 17, 18, 17, 20, 20, 17, 19, 17, 19, 20, 1, and 24, 25, I'm sorry, I, I, it's, I can't, I, that's another thing, I don't know my kids' birthdays, okay, I don't know their birthdays, my, my wife remembers them, people I worked with used to remember my kids' birthdays, I can't remember my kids' birthdays, but I, and I can't even remember my kids' ages, okay, so, so but I'm close, I, I, if, if, I, if I didn't hit the nail on the head, I'm pretty close, so all of a sudden, my daughter gets these new friends. And this daughter was, was special. This is a special daughter. Okay. This, this was the one. That, now listen, you got kids. You got more than a kid. You got more than one kid. You got multiple kids. Okay. They love to do this. They love to do this. I know I'm your favorite. I know I'm your favorite. I know. Listen, the way you treat me, I know I'm your favorite. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> okay, and and the response as a parent, what's what's the response as a parent? Parents, I don't have a favorite. You're all equal, okay? I all I love you all just the same. But you know there's a couple of them that you just can't stand, okay? You know that there's a few that be getting underneath your skin at one point in time. Listen, you love them all, okay? You love all your kids, okay? But there's 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 a few if you have if you have many if you have multiple children, there may be maybe one or two in your little crowd in your little group that that be getting under your skin all the time because they just might be a little bit too much. They might be a little bit of a handful, and and they might have they might dump a lot a little a little extra on you, and you're trying to figure out what's going on, okay? And um, so all of a sudden, my my daughter's got all these new friends. They're all these magical friends. She's popped up like like little little pixies. Just pixies from hell is what I'm gonna call them. They just popped up from all these different areas of the, of the world. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on. I'm just confused. Just all just all of a sudden. This this little girl that 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 I took care of and I I, I bathed did and I, and I and I, I pampered did and I, and I uh, a razor did okay <laughs> I took care of okay all of a sudden she reaches a certain age and she's like oh it's time for me to be independent I'm like okay so so you pay your own bills and you go get your own place and you go do you go you go be independent you go do your thing okay I want to go move in with my friends well that ain't independent. Okay, that that's dependent. Okay, if you gotta go move in with somebody to help you take care of things, you're being dependent on something because you lived here for like 19 years and 20 years, whatever, whatever, whatever it was, and you were dependent on us to pay the bills, to pay the electricity, to take a hot shower, to go wash your clothes for you. You were being dependent. Okay, and now you're telling me you want to be independent. So independent would mean you move out by yourself. When I moved out, when I was a kid, when I was young, like 17 years old, I decided I was gonna be independent. Okay. And I thought I said, Dad, no, there was no fight at the time. My father was moving to another side of the town, and my girlfriend was over here, and my my job was over here. I was working; I had a full time job. My job was over here, girlfriend over there. I'm like, Dad, you go take, you go, you go move to the other side of town, and I'm gonna find my place, find a place somewhere right around here because my, it's in wa walking distance from from where I, where I, like everything's perfect, everything's perfect right here. You, just because your life be going wrong, and, and you you and mom no no longer together, and you wanna you need to get out of there because you're living in the wrong place, and you don't you don't want memories of, of terrible times, or you're having some kind of issues or whatever. Whatever your problem is, not my problem. The, the, my problem right now is I got I got a girlfriend down the street, and I and I got a job right across the street, and I got a two hundred dollar pay check and a car that I'm paying car insurance on. So I don't want to go down to the to the to the other side of town. You you go to the other side of town. So when I left, I got my own apartment, eighty dollars a week. I was independent. Okay. I was I was working. I was paying my bills. I was paying my car insurance. I was hustling. Okay. I was hustling to pay those bills. Because you try to pay gas, electric, telephone, car insurance. Uh, we didn't we didn't have uh, uh the cell phones yet. There was no cell phone bills yet back in the day. Because that, that I'm not trying to age myself or anything, but there was no cell phone bills, but I did have a pager, but I shut that sucker right off right away. I'm like, what do I need a pager for? Who needs to get in contact with me? All I'm doing right now is working to pay for this apartment. That's independent. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm not being dependent on nobody. I'm independent and I and and being independent and growing up, I'm realizing I can't afford to be buying and paying for things that that I don't need. I don't need a pager. Who who's going to contact me? My girlfriend. She needs to contact me. I got a phone. I'm paying for the phone. She can contact me there. If I ain't there, guess where I'm at? I'm at work. If I'm not there and I'm not at work, I'm with you. So I don't need a pager anymore. Who's paging me? My friends, I graduated from high school. My friends are all gone. They ain't call me no more. They disappeared. They did that magic trick where, where they put like the, the giant sheet over the elephant and, and they pull the sheet off and your friends be gone. That's what happened to me. Okay, my friends done disappeared. So I I, I got my apartment and I became independent. So, so all of a sudden... My, my daughter gets these friends. She's got these friends. This is recently, recently, recently. And she gets these friends. And I just left my job. So I'm struggling. What am I going to what am I gonna do in my future? What am I going to do with, with, with the rest of my life? What do I want to do? What, what have I not done? What if? What if? What if? Okay. Don't wake up with your what if every day. Now, Gene, Gene Simmons from KISS. Okay, uh, inspired me. Okay, he was an inspirational person. Okay, in my life for a while until I started realizing that he was kind of all about money and it actually kicked band members out of the group and couldn't deal with certain things. It's about money, 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 money all the time. I still love me some Kiss music, but do I agree a hundred percent with with the uh, the Gene Simmons Paul Paul Stanley ethics on on friendship? Not not a hundred percent. Uh, now, now my my crazy alarm from from yeah, forget about that thing. Anyway, do I do I agree with all that stuff? But no. But he did say something on one of his audio CDs because listen, I'm not a reader. You guys know I'm not a reader. You know I don't want to read nothing. I don't I don't I don't like. Is there a? Is, 
I was worried about this. Is, this, is, is there a bomb about to go ahead? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is um, that's that alarm clock. That's an alarm clock that I can't find. Been under the bed or uh, hidden somewhere in this room somewhere. It, literally, I ain't even joking. Been over a year. Don't know where this alarm clock is. Don't know why it keeps coming off at this time. I never even had to get up at this time ever in my life. I don't know. Maybe it's done. All right. Anyway. So any, anyway, where, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Friends disappeared. Okay. New friends. Wow. That, 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 see, that, that's, that, it takes that much to throw me off my game. So listen, Gene Simmons. There we go. There we go. Okay. So Gene Simmons said one time, listen, when you die, you don't want to be that what if guy. What if I did this? What if I would have done that? What if I, he said when he drops dead, he wants to be the guy that says, I did it all. I saw it all. And I conquered. It. it was like one of those type, type sayings there. And, and I, and I, I appreciate that. I, I aspired to be like that. I don't want to be laying there on my deathbed going, I wish I would have did this. And I wish I would have did that. Now let, let's, let's make this very clear. I'm afraid of heights. I ain't getting no plane and jumping with with some some guy that I don't know with a funny helmet strapped to my back and flying around to 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 watch the the earth meet me at the bottom. I I ain't gonna go do that. That's not me. I'm I'm I, I'm afraid of heights. I don't want to do that. That's not one of these things where like I wish I would have did that. I'm gonna be laying on my deathbed going, man, I wish I would have jumped from an airplane. No, I, I'm fine with that. But there has been things in my life that I just wish I could have done and I want to do and. I'm I'm planning on doing. I um I I woke up the other morning, and I looked at my my uh my my wife came home from work or whatever, and I told her I've been sitting here for a while. I've been sitting here for a while, and and uh I I, I think I I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do an open mic night stand up comedy show. I think I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna volunteer. I'm gonna do open mic night, and I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna tell stories of my childhood like I do to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna tell stories of my childhood, and I'm going to do an open mic night. Cause I'm always listen. When I was little, there was only a few things I ever wanted to be when I when I when I grew up. There was a few things. Okay, I wanted to be a teacher. Done that. Did it. Did it already. Okay. I wanted to be uh, on TV. Uh, you guys don't notice about me, but uh, uh, before my daughter was born, before my when I found out my wife was pregnant. Okay, I had my second interview with MTV to be on MTV's The Real World. Okay, I, I sent an audition tape out. They liked my audition tape. They sent me a letter saying, we would like to consider you for this thing. We want you to come over here and be interviewed or whatever. And then I found out that my daughter was, was being born, that my, my wife was pregnant. And I was like, you know what? It's time to take some responsibility. I'm being independent. I'm being independent. I'm being responsible. No, I can't leave my, my wife to be or, or an, an, an unborn child. I can't leave them here. For, to, to, the, to the mercies of whatever and, and be be selfish be selfish and go and do this thing for myself and go at the time it was the real world boston i could have been one of them real world boston guys you know that could have been me because they, they they wanted me I, they, they liked the interview tape they sent me the thing they're like oh here's i i had the letter i got rid of the letter years ago because because it kind of hurt kind of hurt after a while i was like oh man i, I would have should have i should have did that maybe i should have did it maybe should, I, maybe i made the right choice okay I got kids, I got wife, I'm happy. But maybe that was one of those things that I would have, should have, could have did, okay? But the next thing in my line was, listen, I always wanted to be a comedian. I always wanted to be a, a stand-up comedian or, or a, so, not, not an actor, but like I wanted, to, I wanted to make people laugh. I wanted to make people laugh. And I feel personally, for the last, I don't know, 20-some odd years of my life, whatever, I've been in training. I've been in training to be... A, a stand-up comedian or maybe even a sit-down comedian. That's, 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 that's my big joke. I tell my wife, I'm like, I, I'm so lazy. I'm probably just going to pull out a chair and sit on a chair like I do in front of you guys. And I'll be a sit-down comedian. I won't be a stand-up one. I'll be sitting down because sometimes my back hurts. But anyway, so I'm so I, a lot of things have happened to me lately. So all of a sudden, the daughter's got the new friends. she got the new friends. She wants to be independent. She wants to be independent, but being independent means yeah, I want to go move in with my friends. That's that's what that means. Because I guess in, in nowadays, in independent world, okay, independent means be dependent on other people that aren't your parents, okay? Now, I'm not, I'm not doing any, I'm not taking nothing from you anymore, dad. I'm, I'm being independent. I'm, I'm a grown up now. I'm going to go move in with other people and I'm going to live off of their electricity, telephone and all their other stuff. I'm going to watch movies and go to the movies and go get some ice cream and be all happy and have plenty of money because we got a whole bunch of people together living in this house and I'm independent. Woo. I'm confused. That's what I got. I got, I got confused. Now the old me, the old me would have uh, flipped out. Okay, <laughs> what a you know that fucking fucking you know yeah we're all Sylvester on you there I would I would have flipped 
out. Okay, I would have went, I would have went crazy. But I did. I looked, I looked at this child that I raised, that I took care of, that I changed the diapers, and, and I and I loved and I cared about and I and I did all these things. And I was like, if you're not happy here, okay, you you listen, you are old enough. If you're not happy here, if if we are not making you happy here anymore, then then you need to make your decision. You need to go do what you got to do. She, well, she's like, oh, no, you know, uh, this place is a trigger for me. Now, this <laughs> people, people, that's my one of my favorite things to say. My that's one of my favorite things to say. Now, listen, the craziness which was my childhood, and listen, if if my mom's watching this right now. I want you to pause for a second. I want you to think about every every lamp that flew across that room, every remote control that came flying at me, every bottle, half half a bottle or full bottle of Coca Cola or Pepsi that went flying at me. The yelling, the screaming, the the weirdness of my father in his underwear all the time, just yelling at me and chasing me around the house or whatever. The things being thrown, the screaming, the, the uh, listen, the things being broken, fist. Fist through doors, okay? Broken guitars. All of this stuff. I want you to think back on that before you quick and say, you had a wonderful childhood. Yo, the Christmas trees were full of toys. Listen, the Christmas tree could have been on fire, okay? And, and, and it, it probably would have been a better highlight than what, what I had to go through. So I always tell my kids that there's certain things. To this day, there's certain songs, certain movies, certain things, smells, sights, sounds, people. That trigger me. They trigger me to go into a a whirlwind of what the heck happened in my life and was it my fault? No. This is why I'm on medication. This is why I medicate myself. This is why my doctor says, listen, you need to be on this medication. You, We need to up your dosage so you can stay in control because you are out of control when you're not on this medication because you have too much going on and too many triggers in your life. So that's my, that's my key word, okay? I love to say I got triggers. You trigger me. That triggers me. I can't do that because that triggers me, okay? So what she does, what she does, she hits me with a, I can't, I don't think I can live here anymore because I see too many triggers. Now I'm looking around and I'm like, wait a minute here. Hold on. What's, what's going on, okay? Uh, I did my, I did a, a Brett Michaels dad said, what's going on, okay? What, what triggers? What, 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 what did I, what triggers you here? Love? Affection? worry okay oh i'm sorry sweetie i'm sorry that it's like one o'clock in the morning and your mom and dad have been sitting up all night worrying about where you're at because we don't know who your new friends are and we don't know what you're doing i'm sorry did that trigger you that we sat up tired as we could be because your mother worked all day and your father worked all day and then he came home and he cleaned the house and did the dishes and did the laundry and, and took care of what he needed to take care of and then made supper for you and made sure that you got the best of the food. Your mother your mother got the best and then you kids got the second best and then dad got the crap left over, okay? That's, 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 that's been my life. Okay, this is what I get. I get the crap left over. And then I get hit with the, I, I don't think I can live here anymore because there's too many triggers. I'm like, what's the triggers? Is there a problem with the decor around here? Do you want me to redecorate for you? What What is triggering you, hun? What is the problem, sweetheart? So she's she's like, she got no answers. There's no answers to that stuff. And um, I tell her, like, if you're not happy, you're, you're, listen, I can't keep you here. And now, listen, back in the day, back in the day, the old me, the old unmedicated crazy me would have would have probably flipped out and things would uh, dad 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 wherever he is i'm just going up there because i don't know where he is he disappeared but the dad my 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 father the old that that guy that that crazy guy he would have came back and he would have done done flipped out he would have flipped out on this kid okay but I, I i'm calm i'm like listen she getting older she getting older we can't keep the children here forever. The children get older. They're 17 and 19 and 20 to 20, 21, 24, 25, whatever. We can't keep them here. Listen, I cannot keep them hostage. If you do not want to be here anymore, you want to go move out and be independent with all your friends, you you got to go do what you got to do. So I look at her and I'm like, I'm like, listen, you, you want to go? You got to go. You got to you, make you happy to go. You go. And, uh, she she don't say nothing. She goes upstairs, and within a matter of like, I said now, now listen. This is a kid, okay. This is a kid that takes like two hours to get ready, okay. Now if I was to tell her that, listen, we, listen, you need to get up in the morning. We're going to church, okay. She ain't getting out of bed, okay. I tell her, hey, it's time it's time to get up to go to work. 
She ain't getting out of bed, okay? You got to yell for this kid. You got to yell. You got to scream. You got to what? And then once once it's time for her to get ready, she get ready. She get dressed. She come down. She look in the mirror. She come down. She look in the mirror again. She go back. She disappear. Go in the bathroom. Play with her face for a little while. Come back. Look in the mirror again. Disappear again. And it, listen, a process, okay? Do I look good in this? Is this wrinkled? Does all these clothes and everything? Listen. This kid had that bag. I think the bag was in the waiting. I think the bag the bag was in the hallway ready to go. She was all ready to already be independent with her friends. She was ready to be independent with her friends. So I was like, so she comes downstairs with her bag and everything. And she looks at me and I look at her and, and she's like, bye. And I'm like, and she leaves. And I'm like, Wow. And and the funny thing is, like like I started this thing, you know, you got you got kids that you say, listen, they are all equal, you know, I love them all just the same, but but this one in particular, she she was very special to me. This was this was a special one. So I I think I think God needed to give me the 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 extra special. This was this was the the super size. This was the McDonald's super size deluxe edition. Uh, Wendy's double stacker slap in the face to. Woo! Your dad, you a trigger. This house is a trigger. This this place messing me up. <laughs> I'm gonna go be independent with my friends. And she left. She left. And then and then, the issue with that is is I have uh, my daughters. They stay still. They still. They work with her. They spend time with her. They they be with her and everything like that. And uh, and and then I find out that there's there's she's got so so she came home one day in particularly okay and I don't I don't I don't know what she got. But now, 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 you big fan Johnny Depp fans. You Johnny Depp. I'm, I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. And when the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial was going on, I was, I was a fan. I was on. I watched every single minute of that trial. Listen, I could have been part of the jury. I would, I wouldn't have been uh, by. Uh, no, what's, what's the word? I, I would have been biased. I would, I would, I would have been. Listen, I would have picked for Johnny Depp. I would have went for Johnny Depp no matter what he did. Cause he's Johnny Depp. That's that's the bottom line. He's 21 Jump Street. He uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. He uh, Edward Scissorhands, Johnny Depp. And the man, to man in my eyes, could do no wrong. But this this girl that he he was with, she was doing some weird stuff. Okay, now listen, when when people are hurting and they're angry and they're flipping out or they're having some kind of moment or whatever with you. Okay, you don't set up a camera. You don't take the time to set up a camera and, and try to nail them unless you have some kind of ulterior motive. In case you want to throw it back in their face later on down the road because you want to either uh, confirm that you had a problem or you want to show other people that, look, this this is the reason why that I, I needed to go do what I got to do. This is he, Yes, this guy was abusive. This guy was crazy. Yes, I got triggers. This is what, whatever the situation was. So I find out that there's some kind of so not non video footage non video footage uh, of me getting upset with her complaining about her friends on a certain day that I have no idea when it was I don't know what's going on According, what I hear is it's just black there's no there's no video footage okay I guess she didn't she didn't amber heard me enough there was no video footage but she got me on a day when I was when I was furious when I was upset and angry and hurting and I'm like why are you doing this to me uh, I I don't know your friends and I don't know what's going on with your friends and she got me on this day okay she got me on this day but I guess the camera is, is pointed to the floor so she just got audio of this day and I and I and I'm like <laughs> so now my, my my daughter comes home she tells me this stuff my other daughter she texts me this oh yeah you got and I'm like wow I got I got I got Johnny Depp. <laughs> you you done Johnny Depp me. I can't believe you Johnny Depp me. You waited for for me to you waited for me to reach the lowest point in our relationship. You don't have no video footage of like me taking you to the zoo. You have no video footage of me taking you to the Six Flags 101 times. You ain't got no video footage of me uh, buying you that dress or buying you that thing or standing there next to you during all your proms or all your plays or all your other stuff. But you got video footage, uh, uh, audio footage of me getting upset with you because you were breaking my heart and you were getting ready to go be independent with your friends that I don't know, don't trust, don't understand. And that's what you got. And you wanted to make sure that you could confirm and and and, and justify and show people, hey, listen, this, this is my dad in his full-blown rantness, okay? You guys see me rant here. This is what I do, okay? I rant, okay? But I don't hurt nobody. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. Listen, you're 19 years old. You're 17 years old. My, my son's 17. He can't go nowhere, okay? He, he under my roof. He under my laws. And I'm pretty, I'll tell you right now, I am lenient. My first daughter, my first daughter, I'll tell you right now, she 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 like an angel, okay? She like an angel. Wonder why? Because with the first daughter, 
You try. You, you be trying. It's almost like making a copy of something. Like, remember back in the day with VHS tapes? If you were bur you're making copies of VHS tapes, you make that first copy, and it, it comes out okay. Make the second copy, you're like, mm, you get a little, little grainy there. You get the third copy, you're like, eh, whatever. And then you get to the fourth copy, you're like, this is, just, this is just messed up, okay? Now, I'm not saying my son's messed up, but, he, but what I'm saying is, well, he kind of messed up. But I'm just saying, he's, he's got some stuff going on. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, and I'm trying. But what I'm trying to say is that as, as you become a parent, and you have different kids, your parenting skills, they deplenish a little bit. You start to do a little bit less, okay? You start to be, you, you start to see what worked with this one, what didn't work with that one. Let's try this, let's try that. So with my oldest daughter, she wasn't allowed to go nowhere. She, we, we didn't want to go nowhere. She had to be home by 11 o'clock at night. She had a curfew. And if she, if she did not come home, then I would be upset and we would argue and we would fight. So as we went to the second one, I was like, you know what? This arguing and fighting thing what didn't work out so good. My, my daughter ended up getting married and leaving anyway. So all the fighting and arguing didn't make no sense to me. So I'm like, so I started to, to calm Calm down a little bit. So the next one came and she started, oh, dad, I'm going out tonight. Okay, yeah, where you going? I'm going out with my friends. Okay, okay, yeah, going out with your friends. Okay, just make sure you're home by 11 o'clock. Okay, yeah, I'll be home by 11 o'clock. She come home at 11 o'clock, okay? And then we get to the third one and then I start moving the time up. I'm like, okay, you can come home at 12 o'clock, okay? You can come home at midnight. And why Why do I want you to come home at midnight? Because mom and dad got to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to go to work the next day. We don't want to be sitting. Listen, I'm an older guy. My wife, she's an older gal, okay? We are not, we are not teenagers no more. We are not young people, okay? We cannot be sitting here in front of the door. My wife would fall asleep, okay, on the love seat, feet up in the air. She don't fit on the love seat, okay? She got her feet up in the air, and she would fall asleep waiting for these children to come walking through the door at 12 o'clock at night. But they want to come home at 12 o'clock at night. They start coming home at like 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, and they have to go to work the next day. And they were doing the same job that I was doing. So I was like... I can barely function going to bed at 9 o'clock at night. How the heck can you function going to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning after you've been partying, drinking, drugging, whatever, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing with your independent friends, whatever, you, whatever, whatever fun you're having, you're having a fun old time, me and mom are sitting here by the door worrying that you, you, you're going to make a home alive and you're doing something stupid. But when, and you wonder why we think in this way? Because we were young too. I am not one of these parents that sits there and says, Oh, well, um, you know, uh, I, I can't believe you did that. You know, uh, um, uh, uh, geez, uh, I'm, I am shocked. I am appalled. What I, let's, I was, I was that kid. I was out there dr drinking and, and doing the drugs and, and, and partying and having a good time with the girls and the guys. And, and I know what, what, what kids do. So yes, I was, I was like, Oh, you know, but, but yeah, she, 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 uh, she straight up amber herded me. She recorded me on, on the, the, the lowest day of my of my situation. I tell her, I tell her, okay, listen, you, you're not happy here. Calmly, I said it. My wife, my, my wife, actually, the whole family was here at the time, so it was kind of cool because my wife and my other daughters they looked at me and said, "Dad, you handled that very well. You were very calm." They were, they it was like they were shocked. They were like, "Who, who is this guy?" I'm like, "I'm this guy that just walked out of his job that he absolutely loved." Because I love taking care of children. I love I loved taking care of other people's children. Okay, and, and listen, I love kids. Okay, I've always loved kids. I raised my my four. My wife worked full time job. Okay, I worked at night. She worked during the day. It was a 50 50 situation. She took the night shift while I went and worked the night shift. And um, I I just I throughout those years I felt like I was being trained to take care of my children. I taught them how to read and write before they walked out the door. They didn't go to preschool. So I was like, you know what? Now the kids are older. I want I want to start teaching preschool. That's what I want to do. That's what I went to go do. That's what I was doing. And then all of a sudden, something just felt wrong. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done here. That's, that's time. Somebody, there's a plan for me, and I'm being pushed in a different position. So she, uh, the bag's packed. She gone. She left, okay? And, and, uh, and I get the occasional message here and there, but it's funny because it's like, oh, I, I really, really miss you guys. Well, I never threw you out. You chose to leave, okay? Um, but the one thing I won't do as a parent, and, and you you fellow parents, I don't know, you can comment below. Number one, please don't comment below. This 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 rant has gone on way too long because you know what? Oh well. <laughs> That's what I gotta say about that. Oh well, I needed to talk. And I need, and this, this is what's going on. Uh, I am going to uh, attempt doing some stand-up comedy. I am going to go to a couple of open mic nights, and I am going to, I am going to finish my my life dream. That's that's the only what if. 
that I have underneath my belt is is I felt like my whole life story, my mess ups and my family mess ups and my situations that I went through in my life and my kids and my wife and my father and my mother and my uncles and my cousins. When I got my father got like six brothers, two sisters. Listen, I big family. Okay, all of this messed up stuff I went through in my life is funny. You guys laugh. I know you're laughing. I get a message from a guy every once in a while. Hey, funny guy. Hey, funny guy. I got, I got people send me packages. So somebody's appreciating what I'm doing over here. And if you're not appreciating it, then you didn't subscribe and you're probably not here. But if, you, if you're still here, you should subscribe. You should subscribe because this is what goes on over here. You get you get an unboxing. You get uh, a Blu-ray, DVD, CD, toy updates and, and, and unboxings and showings and showing tellings and I, listen you get a whole bunch of stuff but most of all you get me you get you are getting a relationship with me yes no i'm not coming to your house i'm not gonna go have dinner with you but that person that keeps texting me is like i really would like to meet you i really like to see you well if i decide to do an open mic night and uh i i tell people you could come do it but please don't be that sniper guy i don't want I, I, I ain't inviting the sniper guy that don't like my channel i don't want you to be there okay that night okay please do not go there that night let me at least finish my set before you decide to try to snipe me okay whatever you whatever you plan on doing don't be that guy let, let me finish it so i can at least finish strong that was my biggest thing is when you're running a race, you want to finish strong. So, uh, with that said, yeah, yeah, I, I've had some issues lately. So this, this, this right here, this package, my friend, my friend, who told me that they did not want to be named, they just want to be named as a viewer and a subscriber. Okay, the, me and this guy have been going back and forth for a long time. He's been hanging in there with me through all of this craziness or whatever. And I had mentioned that I had been looking for something for a long time. And and being that now I'm out of a job, there's no way I can afford to bu go buy it. Okay, matter of fact, um, I'm still getting stuff in the mail. Stuff I pre-ordered, stuff that's been paid for. And thank God for that, because if not, the mail wouldn't be coming. Matter of fact, I, yesterday it got so bad. It got so bad yesterday that that uh, the, the government, okay, be giving away free COVID tests, okay? They give you give you like four of them for your, for your house, for your family. I almost read. I I almost did a COVID test unboxing yesterday. That's what I almost did yesterday. I was like, I was like, let's see what we got in the package today. I was so excited because finally packages showed up on my porch because I used to get packages every single day. But ever since my my recent uh um uh, life changing experience, the packages have been less and less and less. So I might get like one video or two videos. So if you notice, I've been I've been trying to do a couple of little different things with this channel because the the mail is not flowing in the way it used to. And unless you want to see me sitting here doing COVID test unboxings, uh, I, which I don't think you interested in it at all um which probably would have been I, i'm sure i'm sure i could have made it funny i'm sure i could have made it entertaining for you um but what happened was is i had a um so th did i cover everything make sure i covered everything hold on um i left my job uh i've decided to be a stand-up comedian um and um my daughter has decided to be independent with her friends yeah that's about it uh my other daughter has been visiting a lot more lately my other daughter um is growing up and and actually making some very positive choices lately, which I feel I'm really good about that. And my son's on vacation, so it's been very quiet over here lately. He, he's a good guy, but he's a little bipolar like myself, and uh, he switches gears a little bit. So he goes he goes from happy to sad to sad to happy to confused. And his favorite thing is hear me out. This, that's what listen. Whenever my son ever says hear me out, I get scared. Okay, because it's always something. That he, he's like he's like the Ralph Cramden if you my, my, for my for my younger viewers Ralph Cramden is like kind of like a, um uh he always had like a scheme or a plan or whatever he's from the honeymooners he always had a scheme or a plan or an idea of what he was gonna do with his past or future or whatever yeah he, he had some kind of idea and then he be and he'd always start with that I got a plan uh and and then he he'd tell he tell his whole plan or whatever and then it never worked out it was always something that was absolutely crazy when my son says hear me out I feel like he's got a plan he's got some kind of plan and I gotta hear it. But whatever, but he a good kid. Listen, he a good kid with a good heart. And all my all my kids. I listen. I am not um, giving any negative effects towards any of my children and their plans or whatever. We go through things. I went through things. I, I went through things. I went through things. I went through things. I went through things. I made mistakes in my life. I made I made positive things happen in my life too. I helped a lot of people in my life. I helped a lot of parents, a lot of children. When, when I was doing my my church things or whatever, I helped a lot of people. Listen, I've done a lot of positive in my life, but I've also done a lot of negative in my life. I've hurt a lot of people, and I'm reaching a point in my life right now where I'm like I'm getting too old to not end this race strong. 
You want to end the race strong. You might be sweaty, broken, beat down, tired, and just, just a shell of the person that you were when you were like 15, 17, 18 years old or whatever. You might be just half that person right now, but you want to end the race strong. So when your kids come up to you and they say, hey, this is the decision that I'm making, dad. I, I got to be like, hey, what what do you want me to do? You're, 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 you're old enough. Go make that decision. You go learn. You 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 be independent. You grow up and you be independent. And you figure out how to pay bills. And you figure out when you're sick and your tummy hurts, how you're going to go to the emergency room. And you go, I'm not, I, listen, like I said, I'm not, I'm not disowning nobody. But you want to be independent? Let's, let's, let's see how independence works out for you. Because I'll tell you right now, when I became independent, I kind of really didn't have a choice. Okay? I didn't come from the happy, exciting um, house. My, my, me and my wife are original owners. Okay, let's, 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 me and my wife have been together for over 20 some odd years. Okay? All of my children are my children. We have not been divorced. We have not been separated in the 20 some odd years we've been together. That is rare. And, and and I'll tell you right now, the fact that she has stuck together with me. No, I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a little little insight on my life. Uh, uh July third, I believe. I'm gonna post this as soon as possible because I want because this guy right here, um, July third will be me and my wife's anniversary. Now she tells me we've been married together for for I think she said twenty three years, twenty four years, whatever it is. I never count that. I always count from the time we started going out. Okay, because I figure I put my time in. Okay, now, granted, uh, you just you just heard me say, you just heard me say, you have a daughter that's uh, 24, 25 years old, and you got married when you were, uh, you've been together with your wife for twenty three something, twenty four years. Will be, listen, yes, we were not married when my first child was born. Okay, once again, I I done made some mistakes. It, it wasn't a mistake of having a child, but. I wasn't married yet. I feel like I should have been married before I had my first child. I got a little bit of regret with that. Uh, but we were young. We were young. My, I'm, I'm a young. I was a young father. Okay, she was a young mother. Okay, fresh out of fresh out of high school. Okay, so so we lived some crazy lives. Okay, and yes, when my first daughter was born, we were not married. Okay, that 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 might you guys may look at me like, wow, you the devil? No, I ain't the devil. What I am is a guy that was already living on my own, already independent. Okay, already taking care of myself. I was established, had a job, taking care of myself, and then I had a girlfriend who I loved very much, and I was with for a while. We were together for over two years, I think. Two, two, yeah, I think it was two years or over. Okay, before she got pregnant with my first child, so I I put my time in. She put her time in. We knew we were gonna be together, and I'll tell you right now, if she's watching this, our anniversary is on July third. So if you guys want to send gifts. Feel free to send gifts, but our anniversary is on July 3rd, and, and the woman is a saint. To live with this, <laughs> to live with this mess for, for the amount of time and deal with this mess for the amount of time, every day I look at her, I am thankful, okay? And that is very rare. I, I I know people that they look at their wives and like, man, I wish you would just disappear, but I know you're going to take half my stuff. That's not me. That's not me. I, w I, I wake up every day. And, and and she she'd be at work or or she come home from work or whatever and I I'd be like I'd be like one of those dogs one of those little tiny dogs at the window waiting for for the wife to come home because I'm still excited to this day to see her come walking through the door because I cause it's not because she's taking a load off me it's not because I've been taking care of the children all back in the day that's what it used to be I'd be taking care of the children all day and I'm like please just come home and help me take care of this kid I can't deal with these kids anymore please come home but they ain't like that no more my kids are independent <laughs> they, they be doing their own stuff so now I just looking forward to her coming home and I get excited when she comes home and 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 I find that to be very rare nowadays in this this day and age with people in their relationships and everything like that. A lot of people get divorced. A lot of people break up. A lot of people be uh, out doing their things, okay? A lot of people deciding that they, they, they've they been with their wife for a while and now they want to be independent, okay? Uh, but with that said, here we go. And I listen, thank you. Thank you. This was a long, drawn-out rant, Okay. And some people comment that they absolutely love my rants. They love when I talk about life in general. What you see here is what you get. This is transparent, real-life me. 
okay? There is some kind of black video footage audio of me probably flipping out on my daughter about how I don't agree with her friends somewhere out there because I'm a real person that has real feelings, that goes through real pains, that goes through real troubles, just like everybody else. You, you all go through something. There's not one person behind this camera here that's watching me right now that could possibly tell me that their life has turned out 100%. You have made a mistake in your life. You have done wrong things. But we learn from our mistakes. That's what we do. I, I appreciate my, my mistakes. Blessings is the word for today. Some people say, oh, well, I, I just got a car. Boy, am I blessed. Oh, I just got a child. Boy, am I blessed. Oh, I just got a... Boy, am I... Whatever it might be, you, you be... Blessings, Okay. My struggles were my blessings because I learned from my mistakes. When I did something wrong, I took ownership for my mistakes. And I learned from things. And, I, and there ain't nobody out there, nobody in this world that hasn't struggled. There ain't nobody in this world that has not gone through the things that I'm going through right now with their children. They haven't, there's somebody, somebody watching this right now has struggled with a child. Some of these people over here have struggled with a, with a situation with your wife, a situation with your parents, or a situation with just yourself, the way you feel, the way you wake up every day, the way you deal with yourself. You, you're either really hot on yourself or you're really happy with yourself. I go through hot days and I go through happy days. I go through, hey, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, yes, you, you, you made some good choices. You, you did the right thing. And then there's some days where I'm like, man, I could have just did that something just that much better. So the one thing about this channel is, is you get a piece of me. That's what you, that's what you're subscribing to. You're not subscribing to to the unboxings and all that stuff like that. Although that's your perk, okay? That's your perk and, and your free uh, digital codes that I give you. And if I get really really big, I'm gonna start doing giveaways and all kinds of other stuff because I need I need to make some money first before I can start giving before I can start giving money away. I gotta start making some money. But um. Uh, th th that's what you're subscribing to. You're, you're subscribing, you're hitting that bell, you're being notified, you're hitting the like. You're, sh you're showing me appreciation. You're showing me that, listen, my friend, you're not alone. Okay, I, I relate with your rants. I relate with your life. I relate with the things that you enjoy. I love toys too. I love movies too. Movies are an escape for me too. Life is tough. Life is not easy all the time. And a movie is an escape. A toy for me is an escape. If I sit there, I sat the other night with, with a, I, I bought an Elvis doll and he comes with fake leather uh, a jumpsuit. It's a 68 comeback special. You guys know I'm talking about 68 comeback special. Well, Elvis just cool. Got that. He dyed his hair jet black and he just cool. He come back. He had seven years he hadn't performed. He hadn't done nothing. All of a sudden he comes back and I sat there for hours and, and rubbing in this, this faux leather cleaner stuff and protecting onto his outfit for hours while the TV was on. I was watching I was watching Predator. I was watching I was watching Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator. And I was I was cleaning my my Elvis. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so yeah, we all go through things. And if you're subscribing to this channel, if you're not subscribed yet and, and you're one of the seventy thousand plus people that are watching me do me a favor. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. That's all I'm asking for. I you know what I want one day. I want my I want my little plaque thing. I want my silver. I don't want a gold or diamond. I don't. I'm not asking for some kind of craziness like that. I don't. I don't expect nothing. I don't expect. I didn't. I didn't expect this. Sometimes. Sometimes life gets 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 rough. Gets rough. Um. Wow. I'm a mess today. I'm. A, I, I am a non-medicated. Off the wall, all over the place, mess. But I, you know, I got um, above my door is the trolley from Mister Rogers, and three actual Mister Rogers pops. Okay, um, the real Mister Rogers, not not that uh, not that Tom Hanks thingamajiggy mess all the stuff there. Um, and I will tell you when when I taught preschool every morning, I'd reach up and I'd, I'd tap, I tap the trolley, tap the 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 replica trolley. And I'd be like, I'm going. I I'd put on I put on my happy mask, my happy face, my because that's that's what the world's about. The world's about many faces. Okay, I I wear many faces. Now I'm not like a I'm not trying to say I'm a two faced guy and I'm I'm fake to anybody. But when you when you when you go to work and especially if you're in like childcare or something, you can't show children that you you're you're stre you're stressed out, you're messed up, you're having you're having a tough day. 
You got to go there and you got to be happy every day. And you got you to gotta perform for them every day. That's why I think the stand-up comedy thing is probably going to be an ideal venture for my next, my next step in my life. Because I got up every morning and I put on the happy face and I was on. I was, I was on and I was making those kids happy. And, um, and I would tap the trolley and I would think like, what would Mr. Rogers do today? But Mr. Rogers go to, he's, he had a, just had a fight with his kids. He just had trouble at his home. He's he's hurt and he's in pain. He's whatever. Is he going to show those kids hurt and pain or whatever? Or is he going to make those kids feel the opposite of how he feels? That's that, that was my thing. That was, that was my special little thing. Um, and whether or not I'm going to go back to teaching small children again, um, I do not know right now. Right now my life is in limbo, but I got some things I got to do and I got a package. I got a package from a viewer. And um, before I open this, I want to thank you. also want to tell you that every time I get a package, there's a second package so far, I, I get scared. <laughs> I get scared. Because if you ever seen the movie Talk Radio, um, uh, the, the guy that played the Talk Radio guy, the Howard Stern character type guy or whatever, uh, he ends up getting a package. And inside the package was like a dead rat. So um, either, <laughs> either this guy is a big fan of my channel and he'd be wanting to help me out, which I think and I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. Or it could be a, a dead rat of some sort. <laughs> it could be, could be something alive. Now, now it's not ticking, and it is a little difficult to get packages to me. Okay, but he said that he uh, there's something that I was trying to get for a long time, and I just cannot get it. So I'm gonna open up this package. This is this is one of two things is gonna happen right now. I just I just cut it open. It's open from the bottom. Yeah, I opened it from the bottom. I might need the knife again because I don't know what else he put in here. Um, so one of two things is gonna happen right now. Either you're going to see me be extremely excited and happy and, and, and very thankful for what is in here. Um, you might see me break down. You might see me, uh, I might, I don't know if I'm going to have an emotional effect because um, people don't give me things normally. I normally don't get gifts and I, I take any gift or anything from anybody as a, I'm very thankful. I'm a very thankful, humble person. Okay. I, I don't expect anything from anybody okay i don't i don't like i said when i get a subscriber it's i i, I don't expect it it's a surprise like even i got one the other day i got one it was like a, i was like like 667 or something like that and then 68 popped up and i was like i felt so good i felt so i felt so good for 668 or whatever um so i'm gonna open this up there we go. I'm opening up from the back. And the only reason why I'm doing that because the address thing's on the front. You know how that works here. And we have a... Oh, we got we got two things and some 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 baggy things there. And uh, let's, 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 uh, let's see who... Uh, should, should I, uh, yeah, let's see where my subscriber shops. Um, he, he'd, be, he'd be at Walmart. He's a Walmart shopper. He's not a Target shopper. He's a Walmart shopper. Okay. Uh, and and uh, I got a note. Do I, do, I, do I read the note? Do I read, do I read the note? Let's see here. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not gonna give the guy's name, but it, it's kind of cool. It just says, oh, it says, I appreciate all of your time and effort you put into your videos. Here's a little token of my gratitude. I hope you enjoy them. And then he, he actually drew a little cool picture. I, I, got, I got to throw it out there. I'm going to throw a little picture. I'm not going to give the guy's name or whatever because I don't think that's what he wanted. But it says, uh, all I want is $10. And then and then the bottom it says, uh, you can't borrow my movies because that's like my thing. It's like, I don't, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, borrow movies. And, uh, to be honest with you, it, it, he paid $10. He paid almost $10 to ship this thing to me. So I appreciate it. And I got two, two things here. Now, one was something that I was hunting for for a long, long time. And this is where we, we open this thing up. He's like, I got this. I got this in, in my collection. And and, and uh, I've watched it, and I'm not really a collector. And I, you know what? I can kind of see through this one. So I, I'm i going to open this up because the second one is a surprise. Okay? He said, he said, I'm sending you an extra surprise, so you're going to act like you're surprised. Even if, even if you have it, you're going to act like you're surprised. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not much of an actor. Okay? I'll try. I'll try, I'll try to act like I'm surprised. And uh, if I don't have it, I'll, I'll still act like I don't. I don't have it. Okay, I'll, I'll do. I'll do my best. Um, and what this is, okay, because I, I can see through. I can see. I can see through the cool uh, little packet thing here. Um, yes, I am. I um. I am 
super excited. It's a copy of the movie Dutch. I have wanted this movie for about two years now. For two years, this movie has been in my car. Should I, oh, wait a minute, should I open up, make sure the movie, oh, the, the movie's in there. This guy, this guy set me up. You know what, I'm not going to look at the thing to see what the quality, I, if, as long as it plays, I, it, this is nice. I mean, I he said there was a crack or something or whatever on the cover. I don't see nothing. Oh, yeah, I see a little, little nothing. I, um, I've wanted this movie for a couple of years now. This was one of my movies from my childhood. I uh well not childhood teenage years or whatever and I absolutely loved this movie. It's 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 one of those buddy films. It's one of those uh uh mother and father are divorced and the father is uh you know, he's kind of a jerk and and the mother's dating the Ed Ed O'Neill character which is Al Bundy there and she's like I'm going to send you to go pick up my son. Uh he's at a boarding school somewhere. I'm going to send you to pick him up and he decides instead of flying the kid back, he's going to drive with him across country so he can get to know the kid better because he loves the, the, the mother and he wants the child to fall in love with him and understand him better. Um, I, I have been such a big fan of this movie for a lot of years and it's out of print. It's out of print and the flip is they be going crazy. Okay. And, and I could not afford it. I, 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 I contemplated the pay in fours, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make four payments on this thing. It's a Blu-ray. It's a movie. Okay, I know this thing was originally probably like twenty bucks when it first came out. So I, I, I just very casually stated on one of my videos that I have been hunting and looking for this video, and I've been trying to get it, and I've been wanting to get it to add to my collection because I absolutely love this movie. And this viewer, he he hopped on. He's like, I got that. I I, I didn't even remember I had it until you brought it up. Uh, I'll give it to you now. I thought he was kidding. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I don't expect nothing from nobody. Okay, so, so I thought he was joking around. I thought he was like, he's like, I got it. I'm, I'm kidding. And I'm like, and then I had to confirm. I'm like, the, you, the Blu-ray? You got, the, you got the Blu-ray because, because the DVD I can get all day long on, 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 e on, uh, eBay for like fifteen, sixteen dollars. In fact, I, I own the Blu-ray. I want, I wanted to upgrade it because my Blu-ray was a little scuffed up, a little scratched up, and the picture quality was kind of, kind of not so great. And I wanted to upgrade it. And he's like, yes. He, he responded a few minutes later, yes. And me and this guy have been going back and forth for it's been, been a long time. We, we, I think, I'm pretty sure we got years going on now. We got years. So this goes to show you how much I personally appreciate my subscribers and my viewers. And I'm sure this guy could also back up the fact that I respond to everything that he writes. He's a funny guy. He'll, he'll, he'll send me some funny things. He'll, he'll send me some messages and everything. And sometimes he'll, he'll make fun of my, my pronunciations of things. And we'll joke around. We'll go back and forth. Um, and this token is uh, just me understanding that, listen, there are some, some good people out there. Uh, there are people out there that appreciate my my life and my rants and my my collections and my things and i am getting emotional i am getting a little emotional uh because um it takes effort it takes effort for somebody to get up and go to the post office and put their their hard-earned money on a table and send you something and um and i really really appreciate this now you know what and, I, and the funny thing is this channel I, this is my this is my saying, and if I ever stop making merch or whatever, I make merch and don't steal this from me. Don't steal this from me, okay? I, I want to have like movies or memories put on my back of my my merchandise or whatever, or a couple other weird little sayings that I like to say every time or whatever. Or you know, uh, there's a certain thing. I'm sure people could comment below 101 different things that I say at a normal basis that would make a good merchandise shirt, okay, for the thing there. But in general, I would love to have my little logo one day in the back of it say movies or memories. And my friend. From now on, whenever I see this movie, or I put on this movie, or I see Ed O'Neill, or I see the kid from Empire Records, that's who this kid is over here, the kid hanging down from Upside Down, he was in Empire Records, um, he was, uh, I, I can't, what, am I, am I, am I gonna, Ethan, Ethan Randall, right? Yeah, can't hardly wait. Uh, Ethan, Ethan, Ethan Randall, am I saying that right? Randall, Randall, Ethan Randall and Ed O'Neill. Ethan something or other, I think it's Randall, I think I'm saying it right, Ah. Uh, my eyes. R A N D A L L. Randall. Well, I would say that's right. Um. Yeah. Uh, Empire Records. Um. He's done. A, he's done quite a few. Movies. Can't hardly wait. That's what it says on the back here. Um. Sweet Home Alabama. 
I haven't seen that one though. My wife saw that one. I haven't seen that one. Um, so whatever. <laughs> From now on, when I see these people, when I watch this movie, I will think about that 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 viewer, that this one guy. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, my friend, this this little uh, piece of paper. And uh, I don't I I I BS anybody not. Um, this little note that you put in here will stay inside here until the day I drop dead. Okay, it will. Because it's it's also a reminder you took the time to write me something to 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 draw me a little picture and everything. I thought I I I appreciate you. I totally appreciate you. Now let's 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 see what this 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 other surprise is. And um and I'm either gonna be really excited or I'm gonna I'm gonna make believe I'm excited. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he wants from this one here, but let's let's see. All right. I probably didn't need to cut that open. I probably could have just ripped it. And. Yeah. Okay. You got me on this one, my friend. Um it's a copy of of Lucas on Blu-ray, uh, which also happens to be one of my other favorite movies <laughs> of all time. Um Wow. Um I am thankful. I appreciate that. Um did I upgrade Lucas yet? Hold on. I I'm seeing a DVD of Lucas over there. So this may possibly I'm going to have to check my database thing there, but this may possibly be an upgrade. Um yeah. Thank you. I I I extremely appreciate this. Uh, no know, know what the greatest thing is these things are going to go side by side on the shelf and believe me they will be watched they will be well used okay because i i love <laughs> absolutely love both of these movies Every, you, you hit the nail i'm 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 touched i'm ha i'm ha i'm having a little bit of a moment because listen for for him to be not only to to to, to watch and understand i needed this but for him to watch my channel enough to understand that this this may very well be one of one of my hand down favorite movies because it's probably one of his favorite movies. It's probably something that he really enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm, wow, I'm, I'm I'm floored after all that ranting, after all that raving, after after everything that uh, I've been going through lately. Um, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my viewers. With that said, my friends, that that's my un unboxing for today. A viewer sent me something. I appreciate it. I appreciate. I, I do. I really. I really do. This. This. This is too kind. Too kind. Um. Can't wait for the for the wife to get home from work so I can show her what what, what was in the box. I, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna wait for the wife to show, to get home from work. I'm going to actually uh message her or FaceTime her or call her or whatever. Uh, so she she knows what was in the box, but I I am super excited. I am super super excited, and uh, I'm be honest with you, I'm gonna shut this thing off. I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some Lucas in, and I'm gonna have me a double feature right now. I'm gonna have me a double feature. I'm gonna make myself some some frozen White Castle burgers, and I'm gonna because I ain't got no popcorn, no popcorn in this house. I'm gonna go get me some frozen White Castle burgers, and I'm gonna get myself a nice big cup of ice because you know how I am my ice, and I'm pouring myself a nice big cup of ice cold cherry Coca, cherry Pepsi, whatever I got over there, and I'm gonna have me a double feature, and it's all because you, my special friend. I know you didn't want to be named, you just said you wanted to be a viewer, and um, thank you. Thank you once again. They will be used. They are appreciated. And they are, hands down, <laughs> a few of my favorite movies ever. Ever. You, you, you nailed it. You nailed it. Okay? Thank you very much. And with that said, my friends, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you later.